So, Logan Paul versus Mike Tyson is happening. Let's break this down. Now, this is not officially confirmed. And again, I don't know if Mike Tyson was referring, in fact, to Logan Paul because he did say, I'm going to be returning to fighting in February. And uh, the opponent is not very, like, um, impressive. But he is a very stimulating opponent nonetheless. And Logan said on True Jordy's podcast that he has another opponent lined up, but he's taking his time. And he's kind of choosing which day and it's going to be a real fighter. So that makes me think that this might not actually happen. I know Keemstar said that sources confirmed it and all of this stuff and Logan was joking around with it. But I feel like this might all just be a, a hearing, a red, a red hearing, you know. This might be uh, something that actually doesn't uh, materialize into anything. But let's just say hypothetically, this is who Logan Paul is going to fight next. Well, Logan Paul now has the uh, able to say, I fought Floyd Mayweather and Mike Tyson, two of the biggest goats in boxing now and in the, pre in the past. <clears throat> now, um... Do I think this is a smart idea? No, it is not a smart idea. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, well, you know, he fought Floyd, and so, you know, of course he's going to do good against Mike. But that's not necessarily true. Because Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather are significantly different in terms of height and weight. Logan has a huge height and weight advantage. Floyd also um, does not have the same power that he used to have because of his brittled hands, along with the fact that he's not known for knockout power, but breaking you down from a boxing standpoint very technically. Mike Tyson is known for his one knockout power. He is very similar in both height and weight to Logan Paul, so it is a much more even skilled fight. And like I said, when Logan fought Floyd, if Logan and Floyd were the same height and weight, Logan Paul would have gotten knocked out or at least, uh, or at least TKO'd. The more closer you are to someone in terms of weight and height, the more likely it is you're going to do worse. And this is a case where I think Mike is a, just a different beast and a different animal to Floyd Money Mayweather. <clears throat> now, obviously, he had a fight with um, in back in November of 2020. He did knock the guy out. And obviously, he looked technically good, but he's he's definitely now older. He definitely doesn't hold the same amount of power that he used to. But having said that, do I think Logan Paul has a very good chance of getting knocked out? Yes, I think that is quite literally the thing that's going to happen. Um, I hope this doesn't need to be an exhibition, I don't think, because of the weight is very similar. And I think that this can and should count as a pro fight because, you know, yes, we can have another exhibition and that will get people excited. And I think the press conferences and the marketing, if they do it better than what they did with, with Floyd versus Logan, and they let these guys go at it. This could be way more entertaining and way much better and way much better of an intriguing fight. And now that we've seen Logan fight Floyd, we know we can go in there and hang with the real boxer. So um, I think that Logan will take punches from Mike and learn some good punches and last a couple of rounds. But I do think it will end with Logan Paul getting Nate Robinson in a really bad way. Um, but again, this is Logan and he's all about taking risks and I'm super excited for this fight. And this is kind of get me reinvigorated we interested in youtube boxing because i feel like it's been so dry and we're actually seeing this matchup that makes no sense where we know the outcome yet we're more intrigued than than any of jake paul's fights for example um and it just puts more respect on logan paul and the thing is is logan has fought a pro boxer at this point he's fought someone that you know is technically really hard to manage and i think he will take that ex that very valuable experience into his fight with mike and i think we'll see him improve from a technical standpoint and i think we'll also see him be a lot smarter now that he's been in there with a pro boxer um and it just goes to show how much more brave and how much just better uh, how much more i respect logan as a boxer than jake paul but he did quote um he was quoted in an article saying, I would never want to knock out Jake Paul or the Paul brothers, you know, and I don't think he was only, I think he was just referring to Jake, but that might give an indicator that this already might be set in stone to not be a knockout, and don't be surprised if it ends with no knockdowns or knockouts. Be sure to like, sub, and comment. Thank you guys for all the recent support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck, Logan. You're gonna need it.